Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! Hey, what's up everybody? It is uh, Heracles Porsche here today, aka Guildenlock, purchasing his very first upgrade to the card. So, I spent 7,000 of my credits. So that card went from 15 second cooldown to a 10 second cooldown. Hold on. Yeah. So if you, you and there's my little emote. I'm trying to remember which button switches to third person view because I thought um, almost everyone's footage is all going to be first person. So I thought I could try to do something a little different that way. I don't stay this way the whole game. Blah blah blah. Anyway. Um, Things are starting out pretty good. We have two uplinks controlled, so that's good. So this game represents a couple firsts for me. Um, notably the AT, AT walk, or pfft, should I spoil that? No. Um, no, it's, yeah, that'll be right in the title. AT, AT, first AT, AT walker takedown comes right at the end. Of course, those guys just came in at the wrong angle for our team. And, um, things are quickly looking not as attractive. We Looks like we're lost one up link, looks like we're losing the other one. Um, so I decided to put my body right on the up link since I couldn't really tell where they were. There we go. See, I don't get a crazy Katie in this, but you know it is what it is. So we've saved up a decent amount of Y wings this round, at least. But you know, I've definitely seen better. What is that like? Five Y wings? That's I've definitely seen better. So I got no reason to go anywhere. I want to keep this uplink blue. Maybe a power up will spawn. I think there's one power up that spawns near me, so. Oh. I'm getting cornered here. And this is where I got a little pissed off at myself because I forgot I, I forgot to equip a hand with uh, ion torpedoes. Those are so handy. Actually, they're called ion missiles. But yeah, um, honestly, I think anytime you're playing Rebel, you should have an ion missile card. So I'm trying to get guys off my buddy so he can. He's free to fire, but obviously that doesn't work so great. Um, uh, finally, well, I'm in a safe area, so I'm gonna as well just put some damage on that. ATAT. Didn't get very much. Didn't even get a thing even bobber. So yeah, it's kind of it's not very little damage on the ATAT so far. I'm not really liking my team's progress, but there's nothing to do but keep going really. That was the right card hand for that situation. You know, a jet to get you the uplink faster, a grenade to help you guard it. We have activated an uplink station. Prepare for enemy counterattack. So again, we're back to two uplinks controlled. And I fucked up there, I forgot. I 
keep switching between two different card sets, one where the left card set is the uh, impact grenade. So it's like, oh, perfect time to throw my impact grenade. Nope. I jetpacked into a wall. So. Okay, so I know I have a proximity bomb, so I really want to go and get that thing onto the... Now I wish I did have a jetpack. Uh, I wanted to get that proximity on the objective, but obviously I did not expect that counterfire. Really should have though. Really should have. So I decided. I mean, all right. I need to start being more careful. I can't just run out in the middle. Of the, and I take my eyes off it for a second. Of course, it gets hacked. So, uh, two lessons: you have to take cover, and you have to watch those uplinks. You really have to babysit those things. And you can't count on your team to watch them either, really. There's just too many players who just aren't objective-based players. I really want to turn that thing blue again. But I gotta watch for... Alright, we got somebody doing it. I, got, I did get the uh, proximity on there, it looks like. Alright, so, I got the smart rocket, let's see what I can do with it. Ooh. That was fun. And I never, I have a, it's very handy to have a power up waiting for you when you get back. So I'm like, this is good. I'll have a... See, they know what they're doing. They're watching this this uplink. They know it's going to get rush hacked. Enemy team is looking a lot more objective concerned than mine. But we do have some people going for hacks, so that's good. So I'm just trying to get to a position to keep this thing defended. I figure I'll just lob the occasional grenade. I have a card refresh, so. It looks like whoever was playing Luke. W oh, I thought he was playing it smart, and now he just disappeared. Luke, use the force on this uplink. Another take. It's another case. You take your eyes off it for a second. Guess what? It just it just flipped. Of course, we don't keep it long enough to get another Y wing. So, yeah. Hard lesson. You just don't take your eyes off that freaking uplink if you want it to call in Y wings. You just don't. You freaking don't. So. Oh, goody. Well, that ATT was doing his job. He's, uh... Yeah, it was a waste of time trying to put non-ion grenades on that at -AT, Or ATSD, sorry. Chicken Walker. So, a few Y-Wings called in, but still not ideal. And uh, I'm still wishing I'd remember to bring my ion missile with me so useful when you're playing rebels I'm not even getting points for my I don't even know if I did any actual damage oh yeah there he is one AT, AT damage thing
Man, they do not give you any warning time in these orbital strikes. I remember when I was playing the beta, you would have you'd have a huge long warning. If you were right smack dab in the middle of it, you might be screwed, but anyway, not very much time. Not very much not a whole lot of damage on the AT-ATs. And uh, at this point in, of the game, I was feeling pretty pessimistic. Um, someone else can be the hero. I don't need to do that stuff. I've done plenty of that stuff. So I didn't play that smart. No, they're all over that place with freaking Boba Fett. So that uplink is is theirs. They have that pretty firmly under their control. There's no point in me going back there. So, uh, yeah, I'm not holding out a lot of hope that we're going to win at this point, but I figure I'll try my luck with that other uplink. I figured at this point, uh, you know, basically my team's only chance is to keep this this one uplink perma blue, because uh, I don't see it happening with the other uplink. I don't know how I got away with that, or that. Well, that was a little reason more reasonable. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have great indoor cards, I'm, and I'm using, this is but not my favorite blaster by the way, but I had a, I think I had a mission to get headshot kills with it or something. So yep, this is me being a camping piece of shite. Y wing targeting systems locked. It's the only way I see a win as being even remotely reasonably possible is to do this. Meh. So you guys are pretty much gonna be watching me do this for the next few minutes. A little more concerned now, because you know somebody seems to be smartening up. Yep, that's what it was. 25 blaster rifle headshots. Just trying to get that mission done. So now I can stop using this piece of crap. Well, this is actually this is an okay rifle, but I think there was another one that I decided it worked better. So yeah, I got a thermal imploder, that's pretty good. <sighs> Trying to decide very carefully what to do with it. I decided to just go, go for this hallway kill. Double kill with there, there, and... Yeah, I decided to do that because, uh... I decided to pick the move I figured they were least ready for because, uh, you know, I've been the camping 
POS for you know a good chunk of time so they're probably ready for more more of what I'm doing but I know I, I knew as soon as he killed the guy he would figure he was in the clear so yeah true camping POS the epitome of it really anyway that's not gonna help me now oh man I was taking a risk fighting with this guy really glad really glad I didn't die there okay so now now the moment you've been waiting for they do have a little enemy team has a few air guys but it looks like my team kept them busy I go for the tow cable I went for the back one that want the back ATAT -AT that had more health I've failed the first two times I attempted this oh, 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 oh. got to be very gentle with those compensations how many points was that that was a lot yeah and I didn't have any time to get out of there after I did that because it I was on course straight for a hill after the co tow cable released but it doesn't matter that walker is down luckily my team didn't give up and kept putting damage on that front walker and oh, the Emperor's paying me a visit, but it doesn't freaking matter. And then he, he just has to sit there. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy I got that. Not a crazy KD. I was a camping POS, but doesn't matter. That's how you, that's how you win. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, until next time, guys. See you, Starside.